Oh, hello everyone. This is crazy. Okay, I want to try something. So I missed the uh, first eight minutes of this game because I had an issue with my OBS, my streaming software. I'll have to look at what happened there later. Um, this is a game of team, what I'm calling Team Delta 9 versus Eclipsis. And right now, Team. Uh, I'm sorry, Team Delta Porn is what I was calling it, because we have Pornexus and we have Delta 9. So, right now they have a 400 farm lead, but they're against Eclipsis, and Eclipsis is pretty good at big comebacks. So we'll have to see how this goes. For Eclipsis, we have Luigi on a Leviathan, who has open mutation, but now has 7 tints and rapid regeneration. Or Alistair just walked in. He is a carrier with 10 interceptors and weapon. I mean, he, he has warp and weapon. Shop Pig is a arbiter with feedback, 375 and 80. Um, you can tell he is a bit under farmed. Eddie is an overlord with plague, 400 energy. Silver is a raven with imp, 400 energy. Faggy Ice is a Dreadnought with 5 Gats, Charge, and Box. And that's it for Eclipsis. Um, for Team Delta Porn, we have Loco, who at this point has 5 Mutas, Plague, Siphon, and 450 Energy. Mutas are at 18, so he's a bit more range change. Uh, we have Delta 9 with 11 Interceptors, Warpin, and Plasma Surge. List with 4 3 Colossus, 400 energy lance, and important shield. Destroyer X with 8 gas and protective field with 325 energy. Wax with uh, 9 rockets and 11 range and rapid reload. And Port Nexus with imp and defensive matrix and 400 energy. So a 400 farm difference right now, but no ships have been taken. And uh, the comps are different enough that this could still go either way, pretty easily. Dread versus Dread. Leviathan versus Colossus, so there's two tanks for each team. Carrier versus Carrier. Raven versus Raven. But then it's uh, Overlord versus Arbiter. And Frigate versus, no, I'm sorry, it's Overlord versus Overlord, and then Frigate versus Arbiter. So, pretty similar comps uh, with a difference in tank. Colossus versus Leviathan, and a difference in Frigate versus Arbiter. Second support versus Deep Death Ship. Getting some good damage on ECL with the gaps and the rockets. Getting the lance in to try to clean up these uh, interceptors from War Alistair. And we want to make sure they, they keep the, the interceptors under control. Whoa, what just happened here? Silver stalled and then he got close, but that was a lot more dangerous than it probably could have been. I know sometimes Ravens will purposely stall to bait the other team, but I do not think that's what was happening there. up to a 600 farm lead. Tanks are on for Nexus. Alistair trying to get some damage in. Keep the shields of the Raven low. And maybe even deal some hull damage. Which, uh, since the imps are level 15, looks like will happen. He's down to 2,000. Not quite burning, but uh, definitely feeling threatened by those interceptors. Keeping the cloak to avoid plagues. Three looks back to the off for, goes back for a lance, but uh, takes some gap damage. He's still okay though. The big question is how people build their ships. Delta picked up Barrage. 
seems like an interesting choice. Lance is up to 12 rockets and he picked up some shields. Loco picked up Cyblast. Only still low, 1200. And looks like Corn is just working on quality of life upgrades. deal with it. Doesn't do too much damage, but still is something they have to react to. Plague does not even hit the Arbiter. I don't even know how it didn't hit the Arbiter, but okay. I think he does not have... He does have Plague Extension. It's 150 energy. It's a little bit surprised he didn't hit the Arbiter there. Lance keeps Silver's shields down, he's also out of energy, basically has to go back. Can't get a kill, but do keep him threatened so that they can farm here. And get up to about a 600 farm lead. There is a big push now in Delta 9. But the Interceptors get on to Shock Egg and they have to back off pretty quickly, but now they're going to turn on Destroyer Rex. He does not have any armor, and he does not have energy to Corpiel, but Baby Eyes has to turn. Lots of damage on both teams right here. Wax picks up Plague. Sulphur has no shield, so he has to be careful staying here. Luigi wants to keep Delta 9 nervous, but really Luigi is taking a lot of damage from this, this barrage, another nuke damage. The ice is burning, but he wants to make sure that the Tempests have enough ships here to protect them. Does have to be careful, though. And spinning up the Tempests. Destroyer pushing in on the Raven and the Dreadnought. Careful, because he's low on energy and not really, does not, oh, Eddie just out of cloak for a second there. Makes it a little bit dangerous for him, but uh, can't get a kill. Seven hundred, almost an eight hundred farm base, of, you know, it's almost, almost a full third, an extra third, or rather, uh, this only has two thirds right now of um, Delta Porn's farm. It's a pretty big difference at this stage of the game. 20 minutes. Really, a, a third is a pretty big difference at just about every stage of the game. Unless it's like Leviathan versus Void Ray, something like that. Two lances to clean up those ends. We're coming out alone, basically, just trying to make sure they don't get all the way to the base. Coming up, kind of turning on Luigi, get gas on him. Just have eight gas, but uh. Doesn't really have anyone else here dealing damage other than Loco, who is dropping some uh, 2,000 damage side blasts. This is trying to get the Arbiter. I'm not, I'm not sure what, what exactly is the strategy here. Just trying to beat him up and push him around, not let them get too comfortable. Nineteen ints from Delta Nine. Real expectation. Wax now has Rip Wave. Chronix is still just on Imp and uh, I guess he's been working on upgrades for Defensive Matrix. Insert on Teddy. Cloak is not. Can't actually get, can't cloak right now, he's out of energy. Teddy is 6,000 life, but the Defensive Matrix is pretty keeping him up. 
War Alistair is actually taking a lot of damage. Four 300 put some play. He... <laughs> that was quite dangerous for him. Prism is not really taking any damage here. All this. Uh, does not have the energy to pass the spells, but he does have the vulnerability field. The Ouija is trying to come up, he does have intercept, but he does not have frenzy. Just intercept and rapid regeneration. 15 uh, tentacles. Eddie is still just on play, he does not have side last. He did pick up Swarm Command. Nice has uh, 400 energy protect field buffs. Shop pick picked up. Uh, they have Storm and Chrono Boost. He had close earlier as well, and he opened feedback. So I'm 525 energy, so you can't just sit on Cloak forever. Not, not if he's using other abilities. Still basically a thousand from difference. It's a little bit surprising that the push isn't just a little bit stronger, but carrier versus carrier can sometimes be result in slowish pushes. And Alistair is using Ints on Colossus. He does not really have any way to deal with them. He's gonna need some help. Ints are uh, conversed there on Shopping. Is going to have to go back to the mothership to deal with that. You're listening to the bouquet. A little bit of help from the raven, a little bit of help from his friends, and it's all okay. Bounce to make sure that they're getting back quickly, but of course, uh, Wax cannot do that since he is bringing some plagues. And for Nexus is going to be out here all on his lonesome with a chrono boosted five and with intercept right behind him. That's always very pleasant. But he's close enough to base and he has the highest speed. He's point nine one. But he can actually go back and just throw a little in. Say, hey, I know you're here. I know I'm alone, but I don't, I don't care. We've got nothing. Warriors don't make ass. Didn't pick up. I don't think they charged us before. But the, uh, kind of hard to deal with the deny all those ships. Look, uh, side last is still at about 2,000. Pick up Sinic Shockwave. Delta is up to 25 ints. Alistair is up to 3 ints. Imperialist is. Shields. I don't know what else changed here. And for Nexus, I really have no idea what changed. Oh, he got the uh, upgrade to him. Do we do a siphon play? No, no, and. Things are. I don't know what these things are doing. I guess they're trying to be on the Arbiter, but they're not. Really doing so. Still a 1,000 farm difference in the game. Morris coming back with only 400. Not really a lot of money to really be getting up here. So is there enough damage to oh, oh, No, that, that side last is on the Overlord on Eddie, it was not on the Wall Prism. This isn't just helpful life.
kind of hard for Delta to kill anything here because they're so close to the base that when he gets on someone, they just fly into the mothership. Just push them back. It is frustrating, but uh, oh wow, Luigi intercepts over to make sure that those intercepts, uh, interceptors do not stay in War Alistair. Alistair's interceptors attacking an invulnerable Colossus and then dying. Delta's interceptors are trying to avoid storms. Kinda hard to avoid the acid spray. Interceptors turned back and are now on Alistair. Pretty low, but they are still hitting some of the shields. What the? Wait. Oh. I. This is why I usually like having um, the commentators. I was looking at them all cutting down. I did not even see Luigi getting destroyed by side blasts. Sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Oh, that was... I didn't, I didn't realize the Luigi had gone so far down. But Loco noticed. Loco, Loco definitely noticed that. That's a pretty big pickup. Without the... the Luigi was the, the second highest time ship after the carrier. He was a sideline ship for most of the game, and so that was a big chunk of their farm. And a big ch chunk of the damage that was dealing with the interceptors, it's going to be increasingly difficult to break out, to deal with Delta 9's interceptors at this point. It's still not exactly easy to turn this into a complete win because it's hard to focus damage on the towers. But it's also very hard for Eclipses here to do very much. Wave though is hurting. Every time it connects on anything, it reduces the level 18 rockets with rapid reload. When the whip wave connects, it hurts a lot. Pretty soon here, it's going to actually start to get hard for them to really protect the power from the frigate. of in farm of basically two to one. Most of it is on Loco and Delta. New Rich is actually floating that much right now. Warping out. does not have blackout yet and you can't afford it. Not to just pick up hallucinations as you have noticed. 
Huh. Nice. Grab Siege Mode. Guess that's to defend the towers, probably. Nine picked up Vortex and actually Scouts. Rex also picked up Siege Mode. Luck goes up to 2600 on Psy Blast. Realistic Guardian Shield. Interesting. Wax is 23 rockets with 12 range. So it's really a, a big part of this now is how to protect the towers from the siege mode. I forget with 23 rockets and everything else that's going on here. Mode is turned on. Power is 1,000 shields. Oh, hello! The ice was here. They are, I guess, trying to cut the destroyer. Ice is going to be the one that is low right now, though. Yes, it's it float. What is all the. Oh, materialistic. Out of field, warp vortex goes down, and the siege mode is gonna pop this tower very fast. Yeah, that tower is down. Top tower for Eclipsis is destroyed. Cracks every volley of rockets basically is half Eddie's life. It's, basic, it's almost 6,000 damage. Eight rockets. Each dealing 221 damage. So, yeah, with uh, with rapid reload, it, it's over 3,000 damage. I'm sorry, it's yeah, much more than 3,000 damage, closer to 4,000. And the second tower goes down. And they pop it now that Ice is back in his base in siege mode. How do they seal the deal? We have an Arbiter, a Raven, and a Siege Mode. Dreadnought. How do you pop it? How do you pop the cherry? Okay, look at our Siege Mode. He's 17 range. Ice is 17 range. So they're equal range. Receptors are harassing Roar out there. Interceptors are 28. So 3,000 farm difference, it's a lot of damage, but it's still, ooh, silver is low, but they keep him up. Pressure remains, how do you pop this defensive formation? Without losing anyone, this is the uh, important thing here. Everyone is, well, Pronexus is not, everyone else is floating a thousand though. Four under farm Pronexus. How are they going to break this without his blackout though? Oh, he does have blackout. Open 9 has as much farm as the next, as the two highest farm trips on Eclipsis, both War Alistair and Eddie, on the Eclipsis 1600, which is what Delvin then has. That is a rich area. He's going back with 1800 
intervals. He already has 28 interceptors, so what do you even spend it on? Tempest? Thing? Guessing he buy te buys Tempests. Yep, first thing he buys. And you can see the money. Uh, he's up to 600 energy. Gets actually some more interceptor and other stuff up. I don't know how we'll have to see it, but the tempests are at. I'm gonna look at all the stars. 18 range on the interceptors. Alistair has 18 range on his interceptors. The range on tempests will also be the same. Just side blast is still 2600. His new range is 21, so he has quite a bit of range. 10 range on the Spurrier X's uh, laser battery, and he has 19 gaps. So this siege mode will hurt. Ice is still on level 8. Wow, that's a significant range difference. Sorry, Rex has two more range ups compared to Ice. This is going to be 17 range versus 19 range. Let's see if we get though. I'm getting tired. Goes in, does not have the energy to turn vulnerable, but he does have 17 shields. Wax trying to drop some of his rockets. Crosshead is out of shields. Vortex is down. Both vortexes are down. One. Pink. Pink. Stop. There. Four pits of hallucination. Ice comes out of vortex. Goes into C. He's holding it with protective field, trying to get seed shots on the on what? On the Raven? He goes down. Red is dead. The support is next. Blackout. Spreader takes some damage. Alistair goes down. Silver goes down. It's Fini. Abby is dead. And shocking. It's destroyed. Well, that's the game. Hope you enjoyed watching. This was Eclipsis versus Team Delta Porn. If you enjoyed watching, I hope you will follow me on Twitch and uh, YouTube. I'll see you next time, guys.